bring it back. What's going on today, everyone? It's Colt, and today I'm here with a video talking about my school and my first semester as a nursing student. Now, a little bit about my school, and I used to go to Slippery Rock University. I did physical therapy for about a year, and it just wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't something that I enjoyed. I thought it was going to be a lot different. And then I went to CCBC, which is a community college near me, and I ended up doing my general education there, finishing up a couple classes, trying to figure out what I wanted to do in life. And then I decided that I wanted to join nursing school, and there was a program about 45 minutes away from me, and it was in a hospital setting, and I really enjoy that. So I figured might as well give it a shot. I got into it, and my grandmother was a nurse previously, so she really kind of like edged me towards it and I always wanted to do something in the medical field so it was something that I really thought I could do. I ended up getting into the program. I took my exam to get in and I couldn't be happier with everything that happened. The program is two years long and it's something that I really enjoyed because it's a hands-on approach. I just ended up completing my first semester and I couldn't be happier with how they had the schedule. They do Monday and Tuesday as a lecture. So for example, if I'm doing a lecture on the heart, then Monday and Tuesday, I'd learn about it. Wednesday, I go into a lab and we have these classrooms that are set up to where it's a mannequin and it can actually speak, it could breathe, and they could put on different body parts to make it look like they have wounds or whatnot. But they do this so then we can get into a like setting to where it'd be just like in a hospital with a real patient. We act like it's a real patient, we do proper protocol, we do everything that's necessary. So then when we go into the hospital on Thursday and Friday, we have an understanding of what we're going to be doing. We focus on the heart that week. So then the next week, we would do the lungs, for example. We would do the same exact process within the lecture, the lab, and the hospital. But once we get to the hospital, we would do the heart and the lungs. So by the end of the year... We can do a complete head-to-toe assessment on a patient using everything that we've learned. We have exams every Monday, basically. Sometimes it's every two weeks, but most of the time we only have a week. And it's 50 questions online, multiple choice. We had a midterm exam, which was just talking about like abbreviations, prefixes, suffixes. And then we had one math exam. And then we have our final this coming week which is 100 questions, and it's all comprehensive, uh, multiple choice. So it is everything that we've learned up to this point, so we should be prepared in order to take this exam. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous when I was going into this program. It was very, very hard to get into the program, taking the T exam, and then we had to have letters of recommendation, and it was a lengthy process. Once I got accepted, I had to get all my clearances done, and it was a short amount of time because of all the COVID. It pushed my exam to get in about three months, two months uh, after I was supposed to originally take it. My first day in there, I go in, and there's about 40 of us for orientation, and I knew how hard this course was going to be because of how advanced it is. And then what they did for COVID is we do groups A through D. And I'm in group A, so A and B will have class in school. And then C and D will either come later in the day or they ended up going online on Zoom. So then by the end of this year that we kind of set it up to where everybody was kind of going in, but it would be later in the day and one class earlier in the day because you can't do nursing online. And we follow proper protocol. We do everything that we're asked. So nobody gets sick and then we could all stay in the program. My favorite thing about clinical is you go in and you have a new patient every day. Sometimes you have the same one, but usually you always have a different one. You change their lives in a day. You make them happy. You have to do things that changes their life because they don't want to be in the hospital. Nobody wants to be sick. So I go in and our clinicals are from 7 to 11 in the morning and I do a whole entire assessment. I give any medications that are needed. 
and I help them throughout the day with whatever needs to be done. I sit there and I'll talk to them if there's nothing that needs to be done. It's it's truly amazing certain people in the world and what you can learn from people in just a short amount of time. People go through a lot and I sit there and I listen to them and I talk to them and sometimes they motivate me and sometimes I need to give a motivation to them. Everybody's different and that's what really makes the job more interesting because there's always something being learned and always somebody having a better understanding of another person. Some tips to go into nursing school is I would definitely be organized and be prepared to go through a long journey. It's something that will go by quick, but when you're in it, you're you're going to feel like it's hell. It's truly amazing whenever you actually get to experience that clinical setting, but you have to get through the lecture to get to that clinical setting. You have to know everything and you just can't memorize things for the exam. You have to really understand what you're doing because a patient's life is at risk. I would go in and I would get to know everybody because if you're in there by yourself and you're quiet and I'm, I used to be the same way. I used to go in and kind of just stay to myself whenever I was at Slippery Rock, but you can't do that. You have to go in and get to know these people. So then you go through the semester and you go through your two years knowing everybody and you get to help learn with each other. You get to go through that experience because you're all doing the same thing. Always study ahead of time and be prepared for your exams. Always know what you're supposed to do. And if you don't, ask questions because if you go into the hospital and you don't know what you learned that past week exactly, and a situation occurs where you need to know that, you have to be able to do it or else it's going to be somebody's life at risk. Always make sure that you have all your due dates for everything wrote down so then you don't miss them. For example, my program, we ended up having only exams and maybe 12 points out of everything for homeworks. And if you mess up that homework and you don't turn in on time, you're you're hurting. And if you don't do good on your exams and you're not prepared, you're also going to be hurting. So you have to know when everything's happening, you got to know your schedule. I can't wait for next semester. It's going to be real exciting. We have a lot to do with mental health and infants. So it should be pretty interesting. I haven't learned too much about that except for like psychology classes and uh, like pre-childhood stuff. So it's going to be different. I can't wait to have this month off in between my semester. After Thanksgiving break, we all just wanted to just relax and cool down because we've gone through a lot. But our new semester will start in January, the middle of it, and we'll go in, we'll see who stayed in the program and who didn't. I hope a lot of people did good and a lot of people stayed in the program because the more that we go through this together, the more that we're going to be stronger and actually get through this program. If you have any questions about nursing school or just going into the program at all, just comment down below or message me go on to my social medias and then just DM me directly and we could talk about it. It's something that I encourage everybody to do if you don't know exactly what you want to do and you want to go into the medical field maybe. Make sure that you do something in life that really makes you happy. Don't look at the money, just make sure that you are happy because that is the biggest thing in life. I can't stress that enough. Everything that I've been doing, I've been way more happier just outside of my school in life because that when I go into school, I'm happy, I leave school happy, even though I might have like a little struggle uh, once in a while just going through the lectures, but we all do that. And it's something that I go home and I'm like, you know what, it wasn't that bad. And tomorrow's a new day, let's get it. But thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. If you ever wanna look out at some of my workout videos, I'll have them on the next screen, so stay tuned.